Wayne the utmost love. Jay Z literally helped this man with his tax debt. I don't know what the actual number was, but you know, uh, the USA Today said back in 2018 it was over 14 million in taxes. Jay helped him get out of debt. Jay helped him keep his house. So I don't think that sounds like hate to me on a person. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode. So Master P is calling for Kendrick Lamar to include Lil Wayne in his halftime show next year. The former rapper congratulated Kendrick Lamar for doing the next year's show on Instagram, then acknowledged that fans want to see Lil Wayne as well because he's from there. So he posted salute to Kendrick Lamar for performing at the halftime show Super Bowl next year. Well deserved. He's one of the hardest music artists in the world currently and has one of the biggest songs right now. As an ambassador of entertainment in this city, I have to agree with the fans that Lil Wayne should be part of this celebration as well. He's one of the greatest hip-hop artists alive, still relevant, and he's a native. Let's not miss this cultural moment in the South. Life is too short. We have to give our legends their flowers while they are here. I'm, sh I'm shocked that so many people are uh, running with the Jay-Z is hating on Lil Wayne narrative because Jay-Z has done nothing but show Wayne the utmost love. Jay-Z literally helped this man with his tax debt. I don't know what the actual number was, but, you know, uh, the USA Today said back in 2018, it was over 14 million in taxes. Jay helped him get out of debt. Jay helped him keep his house. So I don't think that sounds like hate to me on a person. Jay wanted to sign Lil Wayne. Mm -hmm. Nikki, Remember that? Yep. Nikki got me feeling like I'm on hooked on phonics on here. One more, and then we're going to go to a conversation that you guys actually had in the room with Jay about him wanting to sign Lil Wayne. She said, and by the way, you don't know the half of what Lil Wayne has done for me and others. Wayne had Drake and I on his tour with no papers. He was on all of the mixtape with no papers signed. This man has literally changed the face of hip hop. The hair too, if you know, you know. He inspires so many to tat their faces and get locks. We all know that. Drop on the clues bomb for Lil Wayne. Legend. Inspired your face to want to be a great MC, and he never was in it for the money. He's always been for the love of music. Now, a lot of people are saying, because she never specifically says Jay-Z, but in that tweet, because of the locks and inspired the hair, and you know Jay with the locks right now, people are saying that she is you know, one of many people who've been trying no, to call out Jay-Z. He's not talking about Jay-Z's hair. He's talking about all these the other whole artists. Yeah, the little, everybody. We, all the artists. It's very, it's very obvious that she's talking about all the all of the industry because she says that. And it's very obvious she's talking about Jay-Z. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, let's take a listen to when Jay-Z was here on The Breakfast Club talking about wanting to sign, or about to sign Lil Wayne. Now, you mentioned Lil Wayne. I know that you guys were this close to signing Wayne. What happened with that deal? Because, I mean, they got to, I mean, Wayne was damn near saying he was Rockefeller and then it just went left. The mm -hmm. truth is, I, you know, after I had the, um, I had a meeting with Wayne, um, you know, I had a relationship with Baby, so I felt it was only right to uh, call him. Mm -hmm. You know, I called them out of respect, like, yo, I was talking to Wayne, uh, just letting you know, boom, boom, boom. So after that, I think we received a, a letter at our office for like torturous interference. Whoa. <laughs> lawyer, and I was like, whoa. Was it sports? Just they do that? Work. It was like, whoa. <laughs> and it just all went from there. But, you know, I, I think I would rather, you know, uh, uh, lose that situation and do the right thing than mm -hmm. the opposite. You know, because I, I think I could have just, I could have signed, I could've signed them. I could have signed them and then told, uh, told them after. But, you know, I did the right thing. And, uh. I'm cool with that decision. That don't sound like hate to me. By the way, it don't sound like hate on either party then. That sounds like business. Okay, you trying to sign my guy? He might still be signed to me. Here's these papers, torturous interference, whatever that is. That just don't sound like hate is all I'm saying. Now, let's take a listen to um, Cam yesterday on It Is What It Is, giving his take on the Super Bowl situation in the pick. You don't have Cam? Yeah, we don't have the Cam on it. Let's go over to Juvie then. So everybody want me to speak on this Super Bowl situation. I'm mad about the situation just like y'all, man, but my hatred is toward the NFL. Not really the people that book the halftime show. I'm mad at the people that hired the motherfuckers that book the halftime show. I feel like y'all should step in. Y'all done through 11 Super Bowls in New Orleans, man. Y'all have yet to put a hip-hop artist from New Orleans on the damn Super Bowl. Sure, y'all have put all this on the Super Bowl back in the days. So y'all hurt. Or, you know, I feel like every time y'all come here, y'all should have somebody from our city on the But this time, it really stick hit hard when you don't have Lil Wayne on the show. I don't see how the f y'all don't have Lil Wayne doing a halftime show. So this goes to you, Roger Goodell. You coming in our city, sucking up our cultures, and making up all this money, and walk and leaving us dry. Listen, I would love to see Lil Wayne and friends, but I mean, you got to ask yourself a real question. Who's better for business? Like, this is the Apple Music halftime show, right? Apple is paying for this. If I'm making a business decision in 2024 and I look at the monster year Kendrick just had and I'm looking forward to February 2025, maybe Kendrick got an album coming out. 
Who's going to garner us the most eyeballs? Who's going to garner us the most screams? Who's going to garner us the most social engagement? If I'm just making a straight business decision, just straight business on a corporate level, it's Kendrick. Well, not not only that, and, and and this is the thing I hate, and people will say we on 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 Jay Z's nuts, but my problem is this: Why would people say that? For years, when you look at the Super Bowl performances, right? We've seen Madonna, we've seen Bruno Mars, we've seen Katy Perry, we've seen Coldplay, we've seen Lady Gaga, we've seen Justin Timberlake, we've seen Maroon Five, we've seen then Rock Nation took over. Y'all wouldn't be getting none of these black Rock artists Nation if it took wasn't over. for Rock Nation. When Rock Nation took over, we seen Jennifer Lopez, Bad Bunny, J Balvin. Then we seen The Weeknd. Then we seen Eminem. Eminem, Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Kendrick, and Mary J. Blige and 50 Cent. Come on now. Then after that, we seen Rihanna. Come on now. Then we seen Usher. Come on now. Now we, we're talking we're about talking Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar, Lamar. Mr. Unapologetically Black and Kendrick Lamar. And people are upset Yo, of, of, you the, know of what? the choice. I can't wait. I want Rock Nation to walk away so y'all get the Beach Boys for the halftime show. That's what y'all want. Beach Boys is crazy. Y'all want Pink Floyd or something like that. That's I would, what y'all I want. would take Taylor Swift over the Beach Boys. And, and, and that's, and, what, that's what y'all gonna get. And I'm not, Nation walk and, away. And, and, and I'm not one of the people I would have loved to see Little. Don't, don't get it twisted. I would have loved to see Little Wayne, right. Juvie, and Drake, and Nicki right. on that stage. But you can't be mad at, at Rock Nation for changing the halftime show Changed of the it. Super Bowl. They, like, think about it. Like They for tinted years, the windows of the halftime I, show. They made it dark. For years, I would turn... <laughs> they made it dark. I would turn it off. <laughs> they added the best. Like, I, like, no disrespect. I didn't want to see all those, those Coldplay. Now we're looking guys. forward to it. Expectation. That's right. Which artists. was in 20... That was two years, two years ago. ago. That, yeah. that, it yeah. feels like that just happened. But that's our expectation. We had an expectation of seeing artists from the city perform in the city, but that's not the case. I would have loved to see Lil Wayne and Friends in New Orleans. Oh, that would have been crazy. Lil but, Wayne, Birdman, Juvenile, Manny mm-hmm. Fresh, Turk, BG. I nah, think nah, nah. It wouldn't have been all that. It would have to be the whole clip. They would have to do bling bling. They would have to do bling bling. They would have to do bling They would have to do bling bling. They would have to do bling bling. They would have to do bling bling. would have to do bling bling. They would have to do bling bling. They would have to do bling bling. They and you'd have got some Nicki Minaj, some Drake, Lil Wayne and Friends. Yes. It, I, I, I don't. It wouldn't have been all of the Hot Boys. That they would have, he would have had to bring the Hot Boys. Well, Master P, for the city, he Master was. P, uh, he spoke out. He said, you know, Kendrick Lamar is well deserved, but we do need to, you know, get Wayne on that stage as well too. Of course, uh, Pusher T spoke out on it, and he's in support of um, Kendrick. Taking the stage, or some people from Wayne's team who posted online um, saying, you know, confused, disappointed, angry. So people's feelings are all over the place, man. I ain't seen people argue this much probably since the Drake and Kendrick beef. I would have loved to see Wayne and friends in New Orleans, but if you think that I'm going to be upset about Kendrick Lamar performing at the Super Bowl with the Grammys the week before, and he'll probably be nominated for Not Like Us and Euphoria and win, and it's Black History Month, you think I'm going to be upset at that? No, when not at all. When is Ash hey. Sunday? Diary Pass? Not, not at all. all. And Kendrick is very artsy because you just think what? about the show he's about man, to put on. Him and Dave Free about to put what? something together amazing. They about to put on the show because that's <laughs> him. Like he, he lives for this moment. And stop beefing with rappers from the West Coast. That's the other thing that we need to realize. <laughs> okay, I don't care if it's Ice Cube with no Vaseline, Tupac, Tupac with hit him up. up, like the the, 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 the Dr. Dre with a uh, nothing but a G thing. They don't play fair. I've never seen anything like this in my life Mm-mm. ever. Wow. Okay. And, and all of y'all upset, just remember one thing that we all can collectively be happy about as a culture. What? What's that? Just be happy we didn't get Taylor Swift. Thank you, Bro, Rock Nation, for, for that. For Drop blocking bomb Taylor Drop. Swift once that. again. She's been ke- once again every year. Now, it's going to like, happen. I, I normally don't. But I, not right I, now. I, I normally don't, you know. With, with, I don't do this with the white women, but she been carrying the NFL on her back, y'all. Yo, shut up. Yo, shut right. up. Turn her mic off. Yes. Every yes. year yes. for the yes. last one four or five woman. years, I one bet you they've been woman. trying to push Taylor Swift down our throats, and Rock Nation <laughs> said, no, we going black. One back woman. Back to black, to back to black, back to black every year for the one last woman, five years. One shake it off. No. You better stop. 